it's amazing they actually managed to call it to work and then look at the state of this bearing and good morning everyone so we are now on the first job right here yeah it's a clutch so the customer complained that he was coming out of the junction down in m1 i believe so yeah he pressed on the on the clutch and it was very stiff he said and next thing you know he pressed down harder in it and so yeah that's basically his csc had failed so we're gonna be replacing the whole clutch kit on this one and not just the concentric slave cylinder john is just jacking up the car so that we can obviously start removing stuff underneath i have however removed the stuff at the top already we are kind of in a rush because the customer needs his car before 12 o'clock as he is a tfl driver we're gonna try and rush this job and still try to keep it perfect as we can so yeah we're gonna run a time lapse obviously just to uh, show you how we move things and stuff and uh, yeah we'll go from there Yeah, so we've taken everything apart. Uh, as you can see, drive shaft is right there. Uh, drive shaft and all of that stuff is on that side as well. So the side support as well for the subframe. And as you can see right here, a lot of people would remove the front subframe. What I usually do is to basically just remove the 21 mil here, 21 mil over here so that we can free this one up. This one here and then what you can do is you put a jack stand right below this subframe right over here and you can move the gearbox you can easily letterbox it that's what we like to do so it saves us a bit more time obviously taking the gearbox out uh the, the gearbox taking the subframe out saves a little save us a little bit of time this gearbox is pretty much ready to come down now so we'll just do that well, 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 what a surprise. Look at this bolt. Look how many times we had to hammer it down before it actually goes down. Oh, it was very annoying. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it. All right, I am not working in the rain right now. That's too long. Are you working in the rain, John? No, I'd rather talk to my girl. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm not working in the rain. That's too long. Pause, give it five minutes, hopefully. I can see blue sky just right over there. So fingers crossed, we can get going. Sort this one out. All right, so yeah, this is all the space that I need. I've got enough space to put the new clutch in obviously to center it you just have to look in between here and that should be fine like right there you can see the clutch plate anyway and then look at the state of this bearing I hope it's not damaged the cone but that's definitely our problem isn't it so yeah we're gonna be replacing just that as you can see it's just letterbox like what I said it's just moved to the side a little bit it gives us enough space to obviously remove the pressure plate and all sorts so let's get on it so as you can see right here this is the one obviously the customer is complaining that um, the clutch was very difficult to depress and here is the reason why the concentric slave cylinder has completely failed so we're gonna be replacing all of this anyway yeah let's get on it i'll show you how to get that done there are many ways to take care of your concentric slave cylinder, including replacing your brake fluid every year, not clutch riding, or believe it or not, by avoiding frequent unnecessary up or downshift.
This is the joy of being mobile and as you can see right here everything is so we have to unfortunately stop we're just putting everything back together gearbox is back in it's mounted it's just we got to put the drive shaft in and bleed the system and that's it we're pretty much done until this rain disrupted us so yeah what can i say i mean loving the life living the dream And that is us all done now with that Renault Clio Megane thing. I can't even remember what it was, but yeah, pretty straightforward that one. A bit of a, a little seize bolt on the control arm, but that's it pretty much. And also the mount was seized out was so annoying. We didn't manage to give the car back to the customer when he needed it because of those seize bolts, but you know we've tried our very best we helped him he's happy we've sent him videos and stuff like that he just left us with the money left us with the key etc etc so anyway he's happy i'm happy all right everyone so we are now on the following job which is a audi s5 the customer was complaining that he could hear like unlocking noise going when he brakes when he accelerates when he turns etc etc I'll show you why. You guys, look at that. How's that eh? for a ball joint? It's amazing that he actually managed to call it to work. But yeah, that is what's wrong with it. Obviously, as you know, we don't like using parts that are not good, let's just say. So we're going to be replacing it with SKF control arm. And as you know, SKF again is an OEM to many manufacturers, German manufacturers as, as well. Unfortunately, we couldn't find a uh, lem folder, I believe, which is the OEM for this one, direct OEM replacement. But yeah, SKF is good as well anyway, if anything, it's on par with the OEM stuff. So we'll get changing. So catch you guys in a minute. Right, so first, obviously we have to remove that 18 mil bolt down there and then another 18 mil bolt behind it. So. Okay, so I love this. This swivel right here. No, I don't. So thank you very much again for watching guys. If you guys have anything to say, anything that you have noticed in the video, please put it down in the comment section down below. So thank you very much for watching and we will see you on the next one. Peace. All right, I am not working in the rain right now. That's too long. Are you working in the rain, John? Uh, I'd rather talk to my girl. Oh, God.